Welcome to Dress Shop 2, Accessories tab. We continue our project where we left off in the Shape tab and continue on to the Accessories tab. After zooming in, we open the Accessories library. This library is quite flexible. You can easily add other accessories, for example, ones that you own in DAS Studio. These are saved as OBJ files and also need a small pictorial icon added as shown. Let's grab a hair and drag it over to the model. We name it Hair. Drag it and check the side and front views to ensure that it fits. As you can see, hair now also appears in the parts library and can be hidden or shown. Continuing on with a belt, we drag it into position. Should it not fit, we can change the size of the belt. It seems to fit fine. We name it belt 2 since we already have an item named belt. Finally, we need shoes. Starting with the left shoe, we drag it into place, followed by the right shoe. Let's zoom in and pan to see them better. We need to use both the side and the front view to ensure they are in the right place. Dress Shop 2, Materials tab. We click on the Materials tab and open the Materials library. Our task is to assign colors and patterns to the garment. We start with the top and select a pattern. With the slider we can change the size of the pattern and if needed also rotate it. We want the top to be semi-transparent, so we change the opacity from 255, solid, to 200, semi-transparent. Next, we choose the underskirt and assign another pattern. We will do the same with the top skirt, except here we change the transparency to 180, making it semi-transparent. Now we will do some solid colors via the color picker. Clicking on the white square on the top left corner brings up a color picker. We choose black and click on pick solid color. Thus we will color both sleeves, the collar, and the belt solid black. Next, we will color the shoes with a green leather pattern. Time to move to the Stage tab. 